Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Brendan here, AKA Cliff Jumper. And today we are gonna do what is a pretty stupidly easy modification for your Corrado. This also works with a Mark II, and I'm pretty sure it works with the older Passats, like the B3 and the B4. Although, to be fair, a lot of the B4s came with this thing factory and you might not need it. Anyway, tune in, show you what we're talking about. Thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, by the way, before I forget, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would love that, really helps us out. Thank you. Anyway, today we are dealing with this stupid thing. If you have ever had leaves or dirt or debris fly out of your vents from the air conditioning into your face driving an older Mark II Volkswagen or a Corrado, it's because the cabin filter is just this mesh thing that you can see right through and it doesn't really stop anything other than gigantic bugs and leaves, none of the small stuff. But you can convert this to a modern cabin air filter style thing without a whole lot of work. Now, there are two ways to go about it. First of all, yes, there actually is a factory part that you can get that replaces this entire assembly and it fits back inside here and it fits, it fits unless you have one of these spoon-fed tuning deals, in which case this little dip interferes with it and you cannot fit that part in there. So um, what are we to do? All right, well, you can either, you know, if you don't have one of these nice spoon-fed rain scuttle trays made out of carbon fiber, well, my heart goes out to you because it's, it's a great piece. It really, it's functional and it looks great. This one's been crash tested and approved. I actually drove off a cliff in a car with this and it survived with just minor, minor damage, but it's great. Anyway, I love it. Same with the, the second part that keeps sliding underneath there. That is also a spoon-fed piece. This is also a spoon-fed piece. And by the way, if you did not know, James at Spoon-Fed Tuning has been making parts for Carados and all sorts of other weird stuff for like 15 years, and he is wrapping up his business. So if you ever wanted any of this cool spoon-fed stuff, now is the time to order it because once it's gone, it's gone. So uh, James, thank you for your many years of service to our community for making really cool stuff. I love it. I love having it on my car. Really appreciate your work. So thank you. Anyway, if you have this, then the factory piece won't work. And by the way, just getting that factory piece is hard. They're, they're rare. It's unobtainium. You might find one for sale every once in a while. And if you're in the United States, chances are you're going to see it for sale somewhere like Greece or Macedonia or somewhere else. And then getting it shipped over and then getting the right filter to work in it is a whole other deal. So yeah, good luck to you if you're gonna do that. Or you can take this part, which your car already has, and what we're gonna do, this, you can see the old one. This is the one that I just pulled out. This was previously modified. It fit inside here, and it caught a lot of dirt and dust and crap. So you can see it actually works. There's the clean side of it. So it really is functional. And all I'm doing is taking a regular cabin air filter out of a Mark IV and cutting it to fit, basically cutting a corner. This one Mark IV filter will give me at least a couple of filters for the Corrado, if not four of them, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it should give me about four of them. All we're doing is marking it and cutting it, we're gonna insert it inside here and we are gonna secure it with some high temp hot glue. Now under the hood, it does get really warm, but especially if you've got, I don't know, a supercharger on your VR6 or a turbo, it gets really warm. But back here behind the firewall and under the scuttle tray, it's actually, it's a lot cooler. So it's not gonna melt. The hot glue does not melt. It will stay in place. I've had this thing on the car for 10 years, or I should say I've, I've had repeated filters because I change them about every 10,000 miles. Um, you could probably go longer, but that's 
10,000 miles worth of grossness right there. So that's good. That's good enough for me. I don't want to clog it up anymore. All we're going to do, as I said, we're just going to cut it, fit it, glue it, and then pop it in. And off you go to the races with a filter that just costs you probably 10 or $11. So I'm going to do this and enjoy. I hope this helps you out. There we go. This I'm going to save for, I'm going to get at least one more filter out of it. And as you can see, we got two sides. It doesn't really matter which side you use. This one wants to say the airflow goes down that way. So here is our airflow flowing down. If I really want to be crazy, I could put a mark on it. I'm going to push it up inside here just a little bit because if any water leaks past this very old seal. I don't want it soaking this and then getting that all gross. So I want to have enough room that we don't get it wet for any standing water. Now that it's in place, all I'm going to do is take the hot glue gun and seal it around the edges there. I do recommend you hold it in place while at least the initial bead is drying and then you can work your way around the rest of it. But it should take about a minute or two to get it all done. go. That's it. It's going to dry. I'm going to pull off these little stringy things so they don't get sucked down into my fan. See gap. Okay, good. Beautiful. It is good to go. So now I can plop that in the car and we've got a fresh air filter. Didn't have to spend hundreds of dollars for a weird rare part and I can go buy another $10 air filter in a time I want and swap it out. So good to go. All done. Now I'll go ahead and replace all this stuff. Incidentally, if you do do the rain, uh, the rain tray from Spoonfed, I recommend keeping this part of your scuttle and just sliding it in over all of this. It's just a little extra bit of rain protection. I don't want anything getting into my cabin, so that's helpful.
right, well, I hope that helped you out. God bless you. Let me know what projects you're working on and how I can be praying for you. So make sure you hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. And on that terrible disappointment, <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. We'll be back.